Hi there, this short video is part one of a three part video introduction to referencing at UWS. In this first video, I will introduce the concept of referencing at university and explain why referencing is important to academic work and when we need to provide references. While some students may arrive at university with experience of referencing, the concept may be entirely new to others. Before we get into the details of referencing then, it's important to establish exactly what we mean by referencing. Academic writing at universities should be supported by evidence. Evidence can take many forms, but speaking very generally, it is the words, thoughts or ideas of other writers or thinkers. When, pro when we produce work at university, we will bring this type of information, which has been developed by other people, into our work to support the points we are making. Referencing is simply the process by which we tell a reader that we are bringing this evidence into our work. In this way, referencing ensures that we, as we weave other writers' thoughts, words or ideas through our writing, we ensure that these writers are given credit for their own hard work. In the previous slide, I stressed that referencing is important so that we can give credit to other writers when we use evidence from their own work and ours. But there are a number of other reasons why referencing is important. Firstly, referencing enhances the quality of academic work specifically because it demonstrates that our work is supported by evidence. No references in our writing makes it look as if we haven't gathered any evidence in order to support our points and are instead addressing the assignment with just our own thoughts and ideas. Another important aspect of referencing is that it gives our reader all of the information they need to go and access the evidence we have used in our writing. Specifically, this is achieved by a reference list, which, we'll, which I will discuss more in part three of the video guide. As well as ensuring we give other writers credit, referencing also gets us credit. A well-referenced piece of writing, using a range of credible and relevant evidence, will immediately look impressive to our markers. Finally, referencing helps to ensure that we avoid plagiarism. More on this in the next few slides. Whenever we use an idea from somebody else's work, for example, a journal article, textbook or website, we should provide a reference to make it clear where that idea came from. This is the case regardless of whether we are paraphrasing, summarising or directly quoting from their work. This is a key part of good practice in academic writing. Only information which can be considered common knowledge does not need to be referenced. Plagiarism, whether intentional or unintentional, occurs when we claim somebody else's words or ideas as our own. For example, if I were to read an idea in a book which I felt was relevant to the essay I was writing, and then I brought this idea into my own work without alerting the reader to the fact that it was somebody else's idea, this could be considered plagiarism. The key thing to remember is that if we correctly use references to acknowledge the thoughts or words of other people within our own work, we should not have to worry about plagiarism. There are lots of different referencing styles in use nowadays. Different universities will have different expectations as to what referencing style they expect students to use. And there is at times variations between the style you're expected to use depending on the subject area we are working within. The key thing is that we adhere to the correct style for the university and subject area that we are working in. There are four referencing guidelines in use at UWS and we should use the one that applies to our subject area. Law students are expected to use the OSCOLA referencing guide guidelines. Psychology students are expected to use the American Psychological Association referencing guidelines. Scottish Baptist College students are expected to use the, Co the Chicago guidelines. And everyone else at UWS should use a style called Cite Them Right Harvard. Cite Them Right is the referencing style that is used by the vast majority of students at UWS. This style is laid out in a book called Cite Them Right, The Essential, Essential Referencing Guide by Richard Pears and Graham Shields. Where the library's LibGuide site also has guidance on using Cite Them Right, the book is much more comprehensive in its guidance and is the recommended place to go for any information on using this referencing style. 
Remember that Harvard is a referencing style that has many different versions in use at different universities. It is therefore essential that we use Cite Them Right Harvard and not another version of Harvard which we might find guidance on elsewhere. Cite Them Right, the essential referencing guide, is where Cite Them Right Harvard originates and this book should therefore be our key source for referencing guidance. The book is available in print and as an ebook in the UWS library. I would, however, advise buying your own copy of the book in first year as you will use it a lot. Every time we reference a piece of evidence in our work, we must remember that there are two parts to every reference. There is the part that goes within the sentences we write, we will call this the in-text citation, and there is the, re the full reference, which goes in the reference list. Part two of this reference and guidance video will cover the in-text citation. Part three of this reference and guidance video will cover the reference list. Thanks a lot for listening. Remember, you can get further support with the topic discussed in this presentation or anything else academic skills related by booking a 30-minute academic skills appointment through the UWS Careers and Skills site. Our long group appointments can also be arranged by emailing skills at uws.ac.uk. Please also have a listen to our podcast on academic skills, including the one on referencing. All episodes are available on Spotify. Thanks a lot for listening.